glad to have you join us tonight. My name is Purity Musel and Simon Karoda is our sign language interpreter tonight. Let's begin our broadcast and President Uhuru Kenyatta has led the nation in paying tribute to the fallen Machako Senator Bonface Mutinda Kabaka, the President, eulogized the late Senator Kabaka as a committed legislator, gifted debater and progressive leader. Deputy President William Ruto in his tribute said the late Kabaka was a fine legal mind and a fighter of equal justice who contributed to the rule of law. The Machako senator died Friday at an Nairobi hospital where he has been undergoing treatment. President Uhuru Kenyatta, while leading the country in paying tribute, eulogized the late senator as an approachable leader who took keen interest in transforming the lives of the people of Machakos County and Kenyans at large. The head of state saying it is unfortunate that the pain of death has robbed the country of a committed legislator, gifted debater and progressive leader who used his skills as a lawyer to enrich legislative processes in the Senate. On his part, Deputy President William Ruto said the late senator was a fine legal mind and a fighter of equal justice who contributed to the rule of law. He termed the late senator as a modest yet gifted, insightful, progressive and a far-sighted leader who was genuinely committed to public service who resolved to transform the lives of the people of Machakos. The late Machako senator passed on Friday morning at around 8.45 a.m. while recuperating at the intensive care unit after undergoing a surgery at the Nairobi hospital. So what happened on Thursday night is that he developed complications um, and was rushed to this hospital. Upon arrival, they took a head scan. And it was discovered that um, the clot had gotten into the brain, it burst uh, blood vessels, and there was serious hemorrhage. The late senator is said to have recovered from COVID-19 before he was again taken ill last Friday, leading to his admission at the intensive care unit at Nairobi Hospital, where he succumbed to complications of blood clot. I saw him breathe last night and today at 8.45 a.m. the doctor certified that we have lost our colleague. That's the truth of the story. A very articulate, very humorous and very firm debater. Kabaka would take a stand and it did not matter whom he's pleasing or he's not pleasing. He didn't care whether you... He didn't care whether you liked what he, the stand he took or not. And while he was a senator, he was out there fighting for the rights of the people of Machakos and more so for the rights and development of the people of Kenya. We will miss him. He was a jovial man. And uh, this is a big loss to us and especially to his family. The late Senator Kabaka has left behind two widows and children. The president yet again paid tribute to the late former minister Joe Nyaga, who died Friday at a hospital in Nairobi. Nyaga is said to have been battling COVID-19. The late Nyaga has died at the age of 72. Deputy President eulogized the late Nyaga as a selfless, bold, visionary and industrious leader who took exceptional honor in public service. The DP further saying that the late was a vocal, responsive and a development conscious leader. The bodies of the two are lying at the Lee funeral home as burial plans have commenced. Kamchemenza for Channel 1 News.